Hey guys, this is the forklift guy. Today we're working on a Toyota 7 FBEU 15. Uh, this is a three-wheeler electric, and we're going to be replacing the speed sensor on the left-hand side drive motor. Uh, if you're sitting on the forklift, it's on the left-hand side. So the speed sensor is located inside, right in here, and we uh, there's the cable right here. And so to start off, we have to remove the disc and the brake pad located right here. So let's jump uh, right into it and let's get started. So step number one is removing this brake pad right here. And as you will see on this left hand side of the brake pad, there's going to be a little pin with a cotter pin. And that's the first thing we got to remove. Once we remove that, then there's going to be two bolts on the bottom hand side and uh, that's about it. So where I'm pointing at right now is the cotter pin and the pin and these are the two bolts you have to remove and the brake pad comes right up. Alright so I removed this cotter pin and this pin here that was holding in this bracket right here. So it was holding in this bracket right here right so I removed that move this out of the way as you can see here it's free move it out of the way now the only thing left is remove those two bolts right there and then this brake pad should come up We got both of those out. You can see that it's free. So all we gotta do is pull it out. This is out of the way. We can remove this disc. The size for this nut is one and one sixteenth. So the speed sensor is located right under this black part right here. You can see the cable goes into here. The next step is to remove five bolts in total. There's two holding this black piece together and three that hold in um, the part where the speed sensor is at. All right, next step is to remove this cover here so we can have access to this bearing. Once this cover comes out, the bearing comes out with it.
All right, so next step is getting this connector in through here. Can you go through there? Come around this side. And it's gonna be right here. This is the connector. So, you got the new bearing in, new speed sensor. And the way that I did this was, um, and this is just my way of doing it, got into this position, and I used, you can either use like a long punch, or one of these little punches. And I angled it, gave it some love taps, and then in position here, Give it some love taps and then do the same process. Keep spinning it around, put it to where you can hit it, and then give it some little love taps as it goes in evenly. That way you don't damage the bearing or the sensor. All right, next step is to put the bolts back in through here. Get it, the cover back in place, get it all in and start the rebuild process.
All right, guys, as you can see, uh, it worked. And a common code for this problem is C81, which is drive motor RPM abnormality. Drive motor one, C82, or sorry, yeah, C8-2 is drive motor two RPM sensor abnormality. And another common problem is that it drives super, super slow, maybe like one mile an hour.